love that music, don't you? And of course, I love the fact that we are still in the 443 event here at Her Chanda. Well, good afternoon, in case um, I, I don't think I have said that. Good afternoon. And uh, what is 443, you mean? Well, it is basically you, if you go for four, alum, uh, four items during the, the of this show, um, you know, then you, you can get uh, the cheapest for free. That is a fabulous, fabulous um, deal. Now we are introducing today in this hour uh, the Stitchery Dorset Company, which is brand new here at Hochenda. Now it is an amazing company because family um, owned business, but also the fact that they are quite, you know, they try to uh, be environmentally friendly. And so we can see that throughout uh, the uh, items that we are going to have us a look at. Uh, some of the items, the fabrics uh, have gone a printing process that um, it actually makes it that is more environmentally friendly that it has got it doesn't have a, as much Im impact and also one of my favorite ones that we have got in there are the reusable uh, comp you know reusable cosmetic remove cosmetic no, makeup remover pads as well that we are going to have a look in a second However, we are going to be starting here with this uh, the makeup uh, pouch that we have got in front of us. Now, what you get in here is a fat quarter, this beautiful, beautiful printed fabric, and you can see it here, uh, which is our, uh, you know, the art gallery. I think it's also a company. And then you have got the solid as beautiful contrasting color. Then you have got two interfacing, interfacing fusible both of them. You have got the, uh, um, what, what is it called? I kind of, I always got confused, high loft. High loft, that's what it is. So you get in a fat quarter of that one and you can see here that Valine, it's Vaseline, so it's a really good company. So it's fusible in one side. So that's the one that you're using for the pattern, for the outside. And then you have got the medium, uh, uh, the medium weight fusible as well, interfa interfacing for the uh, solid one. Now you also have got the, the zipper, you have got the pre-done uh, you know, binding, you can see it that it's already a kind of done like so. So that is what you attach to the sides of your um, you know, makeup pouch. And you have got both sides so you can use it either way. And also included, you are getting the thread. Now, you can see here that is, I believe it's Coats Moon, so it's, a, it's the white one as well. Right, you have got three options in here that you can go for. So the first one, you have got the uh, the growing hearts, which has features, if you can close, you can see that they are those hearts on that tree. But I love the beautiful aqua undertones with the brightness of the oranges, because brightness is one of the things that, uh, of course, Sarah from the Stitchery, um, the the stitchery Dorset uh, wants to bring that beautiful colors and pattern. Now, this one is Jawa rainbows. I think they are cats, but you know, they are Jaguars are big cuts, aren't they? Uh, and rainbows, of course, is going to be my beautiful color, the beautiful overgene, deep, rich color in there. And then finally, the other option that we have got here is the oh, meow, meow. Yeah, that's the noise that Wasabi, my cat, makes when he wants food. And you can see how elegant is that view. And it's just like sleeping, or is he upset? It's just really cat with attitude don't they all have some a little bit of a cat attitude right we have got a Sarah who is the woman behind the stitchery Dorset online so hello and we have Sarah oh okay. hello Sarah hello Paola how are you now you have a guest there I, I did not say Oh, sorry, I cannot hear the connection again. Is you know, techno we always rely on technology, and sometimes it lets us down. Can you repeat uh, uh, the, what your name? Sophie. Sophie. Okay, that now I could, yeah, Sarah and Sophie. That, right, we are so happy to have you both. Well, both of you are here today uh, from the safety of your studio. Now. What I was reading a little bit about your your ethos about the company, and I loved it. Can you tell the viewers a little bit more about it? Yes, yeah, sure. So we just love bright colours and anything which is slightly different, out of the norm, and and just really good quality. We're just we're just all for the the best quality fabrics that we can find, um, and 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 yeah, we just love the bright the bright colours that we use for. 
Sophie's Sophie loves the bright colours too, don't you? Yeah, I like the bright colours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think the bright colours showcase uh, in this sample, uh, in these options, uh, of course, the makeup bag as well. Now, I love how the quality from this, the quality of the fabric, both on the outside and on the inside. The fabric used inside is also the same quality because it's the, it's a, from the same manufacturer, oh, which is the Art Gallery fabric range, and they are so key on on the quality that they give out and the. They have Ocotex um, certification okay. as well, which means all their fabrics are safe to, to be used, which is even better. So lovely, lovely company. So it is also, I was reading that they use uh, certain types of dyes to dye that are m more environmentally friendly. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. So what they have is they make sure that all of their manufacturing plants, where the fabrics are made, are up to the certification to, to, to get the Ocotex um, certified status. So it, it's lovely that it's, it, it's kind of on the way to being, um, Ocotex normally work with the organic ranges of fabrics too. Um, so it, it's a midway point. So the actual that is used is not organic. However, the, the factory which it's produced in is more ethical and is run to their standards, which is, is great which is a great backing. Right, now, oh, of course, and we have you, in your case, you include everything that they're going to need in terms of materials. Uh, but of course, yeah, I accept the, uh, the sewing machine or uh, the needle, but you even include the thread. We did, because at the moment, some haberdashery is so difficult to get hold of. Yeah. In at the same time to help people out so they could they, they're not going to be lacking in anything to get them going with it. Yeah, that is a very good point, Sarah. That is a very good. Now, we are going to talk about uh, oh, the pouch bag kit. Now, what was your, uh, you know, what did you want to accomplish with this kit? So, the little pouch bags, I, I started making a, a bigger version for myself in a makeup bag. It must have been about eight years ago and then when the children started school they wanted little bags to go on their school bags uh -huh. so i started to make them these little bags to go on their, their their book bags for school and they just loved them so much and then all the friends loved them as well didn't they and, and it just kind of grew from there and now we also have a doggy so we use the, the pouch bag for his doggy treats yeah. too so a do it would be a treat bags but also for uh, you know the poo bags cleaning out after bags as well that would be quite good uh they, also i'm thinking for nowadays hand sanitizer you know, to have it here, ready to go. The hand, you know, so outside, outside the the handbag, so you don't have to get your hands dirty or something like that. You just have it here and do this. And it's really cool design. How easy is it to make? The purse bag is quite e easy as long as you can put a zip in. Then that's the part. And then as well, you've done that, and the, all the instructions for the installation of a zip are in the kit too. Um, but once once you've got the zip in place, then it's really very, very simple. You don't need any fancy machinery, you don't need an overlocker, just a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch is all you need. And then you have got, con and the, the, the fabric as well, it, it's from the R Gallery, isn't it? The same company. Yes. Yes, that's right. Yes, it's all Art Gallery fabric, both inside and out. So, so both the lining and the and the main fabric, and, the art and, yeah. fabric. and you can feel the quality the softness as well in there how many can you make with one kit because i see that you have got two zippers and two um, of the hooks as well so with the pouch bag you can make two pouch bags per kit but there is actually enough fabric if you get another couple of zips to make at least one if not two more Oh, that's really good. So not only you you will be able to make two at home. So you have got the instructions and the, uh, of course the the templates as well. Yes, yeah, the templates are completely uh, included uh, for both the makeup bag and the pouch bag. 
Fabulous. If at home you want to go for the Dorset Pouch, uh, your item number is 8087922, £29.95. And, and then we are going to go to one of those ones that really captured my eye. Uh, now we have got options as well here. So we're going to go, so basically is cream, blue or pink. But I think this is a genius kid. Now, Sarah, what uh, your environment you're a very environmentally driven company aren't you so this is really highlights all those elements of ethos as well of the company anything which we can do which is a hundred percent organic is a massive tick in our book we love the organic fleece the organic toweling and those pads are 100 percent organic and when they do come to the end of their life they can be cut up and put into the re into the compost bin because they will 100% compost away and the thread that comes with that kit is also 100% organic um, so, so it's not leaving any footprint on the environment whatsoever and, and I love that not only it's not, but it's 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 not leaving that footprint, but it actually is really useful. Uh, it really uh, you know kind of. Uh, use something that we need every one well, uh, every day i use it every day i i recently i converted as well to reusable fabric um removable makeup things and i you know I'll, I'll be honest i just use whatever i had at home and uh, which is not the ideal surfaces here we have got our organic fleece in one side and then toweling am i correct Yes, that's right. Yes, it's, um, that one is the blue one is um, organic cotton fleece on the top. Yeah. And then on the back, it's all bamboo toweling. Yes. And, and then the of course cream one is all bamboo. Now, how many pads can you make per kit? So you can make, you can make well, there's, there's 10 cutouts already for you. So there's, there's a 10 pre-cut. And then you can also make a, enough to make another nine on top of that. So you'll get 19 in total uh, from um, each kit. Now, if because it is um, uncut, I'm thinking that I may want to have one a little bit maybe larger to do. Is it more as a facial, um, you know, pa you know, like pad over my whole face? So I could do that as well, couldn't I? Absolutely. And, and that's why we left it uncut the rest of the fabric so that you can you can make them slightly bigger if you want to. You can make them square or any other shapes that you want to make. Um, it, it's really versatile fabric and it doesn't, the fleece doesn't fray. The toweling will a little bit, but once it's been caught over the edges with the stitches, then it, they'll, they're good to go for, for months, if not years. Thank you so much, of course, Sarah. And Sophia, I have got a question for you. Are you very, very proud of your mom? Uh, yes, I'm very proud of her and how she her company has grown. And do you help her? Uh, I do with some of the other products that we have. That's good. I, I love this family, uh, family owned business and you are so sweet, Sophie. And I s thank you, Sophie, and of course, Sarah, for joining us here at Hot Chanda. We will be seeing your uh, demos uh, in a short while, but of course you are live now on Skype. So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, stay safe and see you soon, hopefully here in the studios. Thank bye. you, Paola. So lovely to hear your voice. Uh, bye, <laughs> take care. Right, that's lovely too that we can bring you uh, the insight from Sophie and uh, oh, Sophie and of course Sarah, who is the woman behind the whole company. Now, um, I, I need to give you the details for the pants because I think they are absolutely fabulous. Three one five three four seven is your item number. Remember, you're getting ten pre-cut, and then you have got enough to make another nine. Or if you wanted to do a different shape, if you could do it, twenty-two pounds and forty-nine pence. Remember, even the thread that you have got in there is organic. So it means that you are not putting any imprint into the planet, which I think is phenomenal. Now here we have got again, uh, um, you know, we have got a, an option and it's the organic fabric bundle. In here, what you are getting is a choice of, so you can choose pink, blue or cream. But what you are getting is the, um, the fl basically the fl fleece or, and here you can see, which I believe that's a fat quarter, but it's a large fat quarter. And then 
you have got the uh, fat quarter of the, uh, the f and this one I think is the bamboo, the toweling, the bamboo toweling. And then we have got, and you have got the same onto the uh, blue or the pink. Now I believe there is a slightly difference into the uh, one of the items, which I believe is uh, the, is it, is it the, the, oh, no, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Just look at the details. Bamboo fleece, natural cotton fleece. That's the thing. Sorry. Yeah, I was right. So the pink and the blue is cotton cotton fleece, and the um, and the wo cream one is actually bamboo rather than cotton. Okay, that was it. I was like, I can't, I'm going crazy. <laughs> right, but. Uh, for nine 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 ninety nine is uh, your price for both of them. So, for instance, if you are somebody who may have already thread organic thread, or you do have got a die cutting machine that, that will cut the circles, you go for this one if you want to create it. In fact, I'm very very much um, drawn to the cream one because I do like the, the bamboo, and I believe it's fifty percent. 70% bamboo, 30% cotton. So that mix is a really nice mix. And of course, it is organic. So whichever one option you go is uh, organic. 9.99 is your price saving, two pounds 50. And of course, introducing the stitchery dorset here at Hochanda. This is her, their first uh, show here at Hochanda. And now we have got a demo by Sarah. Hello, welcome to the stitchery dorset. I'm Sarah, and I'm gonna demonstrate to you now our little pouch bag. This is a little triangular purse which can be used for uh, doggy treats or for loose coins or pretty much anything. It's just a little lined purse, nice and bright and funky colours. So we're doing those in three different colours. Um, we're going to do this one in, in these two shades. It's lining the top fabric. I've already interfaced the fabrics and this all comes within the kit. So you get a um, medium weight fusible interfacing for the lining and a high loft fusible interfacing for the main fabric and that gives it a lovely sturdy feel to the bag. Right, so I'm going to start off with the tab and that's just a piece of bias binding which comes in the kit and so straight down the side that and then down the other side as well. That's one side done. Down the other side. There's enough in the kit to make two pouch bags so this length just gets folded in half, cut in two and that's that's one for each one. Right, on to the zip. I'm going to change my foot for a zipper foot. Just adjust where my needle is going to land. Nice and close to the line of the zip. There is no direction on this fabric. The birds go either way. So we can just it in either direction but on the one with the little animals on it is directional so just make sure that the heads are up the right way when you're sewing the zip on. Right position the zip just a tiny amount in from the edge then layer up your lining fabric on top make sure it's all nice and straight down through and then sew down through the first side of the zip. And then we will go to top stitching next. Again, a slight, about a quarter of an inch in from the edge of the folded fabric. Did that lose thread? Right, and then do the other side. So now we've got the zip up upside down. 
again zip down facing the main fabric lining fabric on top to make your second sandwich just make sure they're nicely lined up down that second side open the zip right the way down through to the end turn it all so as the right sides are facing and then top stitch down the opposite side of the zip the zip back up again. Just going to take off this couple of long threads. Get it out of the way. Right, and now we're going to sew along the bottom of the bag. So just position the zip in the centre and in about one centimetre in from the. I'm just going to change my foot again on the sewing machine, back to the regular foot and the position of the needle back to the normal position. Okay, so we're about one centimetre in from the bottom of the bag, straight stitch again, right across the zip. We're going to just tidy this edge up and cut away that zip. And then we're going to change the stitch to a zigzag stitch. And just a zigzag across that bottom edge just to hold everything in place, keep it tidy. And that will go straight across the zip again. And I will just go backwards and forwards over the zip just to make sure that it's nice and secure. Okay, right. Trim off those couple of lengths of thread to the top. Open the zip right down. We're now going to put in our little tab. So fold it over to make a loop, position it just to the right hand side of the zip and with a straight stitch we'll just bar tack that into place about one quarter of an inch away from the edge of the fabric. Then when we come to do the seam in a moment that will all get hidden within the seam so now we're just going to make the pouch shape the triangular shape so it's it was flat you've got your little tab there so you're now going to position the two bits of zip together I just overlap these slightly so as they are not completely on top of each other to make it easier to sew over the top of and then pull that back out flat and then we're going to straight stitch along that top edge oh, you hear our dog in the background <laughs> hopefully not about to attack the cat Okay, so that's the top edge. We're now just going to trim that top edge off and the zip. And 
and then we're going to put the zigzag the same along that top edge. Now I do tend to use a three point zigzag stitch but you can just use a normal zigzag or an overlock stitch. It just holds everything nice and tidy, tidies up the edges, stops anything from fraying or getting in the way when you're using the bag. Some of those last couple of threads and that is the pouch bag finished. Turn it all the right way around. Just push out those corners with my pokey tool. I right, now just give it a good iron. But that is your little bag, and in the kit you also get a carabiner which you can pop onto the bag and then you can hang that inside of a tote bag you can hang it onto a doggy's lead if you want to put doggy treats in it um, and, and it's a perfect little just a different little bag to take out and about with you there we are I love it. It's so practical uh, nowadays as well that, you know, for a hand sanitizer in there, you know, the little ones, or maybe just have the, uh, you know, hankies as well. You can have here, or the masks, the masks that we have got yeah. here, a brand new clean mask there. You have it always ready. There are all different ways that we can use these pouches and they're really cool project as well. Remember, you have got the options for that. But let's have a reminder, of course, the makeup bag. Now we all kind of, I don't know about, about you, but a, a bag like this, of this size is fabulous for makeup obviously but it's also made fabulous for your crafting goodies even if it's your sewing scissors your threads your bits and bobs in here now what you have got of course is the instructions now I had a proper look uh, through them early on and I love uh, the photography detail that you know that Sarah gives you a step-by-step -step instructions on that be the uh, pho photographic as well as words if you need them to do if you need prefer words you have got also of course the content what you will need extra like for instance sewing scissors and so on but what do you get in the kit right so you're getting two fat quarters of one of, of our gallery fabric as, as Sarah was so saying uh, the, you have got a beautiful printed in one side and then the plain inside the quality of the inside is as good as the outside so there you're gonna sew through some beautiful fabric the brightness of the colors the quality of the printing I remember is I think it's called Oecotex uh, oe so or, or well but is that printing process is that certifiable that is it's it's not organic but it's you know very very low um you know kind of um, high environmentally if uh, uh, friendly kind of it has got a very also high thread count this fabric and it's the softness and it's the poplin uh, sort of fabric that it means that you kind of sew really nicely now you also are getting a far uh, quarter of the I loved, um, you know, fusible interfacing, which is the one that you put behind the front of the, uh, the, the outside of the fabric. And then you have got the medium uh, weight of the fusible as well, interlining for the inside fabric. So the, the, the lining of the fabric. You also get in pre-made the winding here as well. So that you will see like, like the demo that Sarah was doing in that video, that you will be able to use it as well for either side of your makeup bag. Then you have got a very long uh, zipper. I think this one is a 12 inches. So therefore you have got the ability to create a 14 inch. Ah, I, I just take, took away two inches, right? Um, now you have got it in there so you can make it even, I mean, sometimes if you are a little bit adventurous, even bigger if you wanted to. Now you also, and Sarah is very thoughtful, have thought, has thought about the thread. Now you may not, like uh, some people, people may s have difficulty to get in some um, thread. So she's like, well, Cotsman, you're getting a thousand meters of the uh, beautiful um, 
threat in here. White as well, so it's very usable, not only for this project, but to just have it. Now options, we have got the Growing with Love. We have got, of course, the uh, Jaguar, which is a uh, look at uh, Jaguar, Rainbow. And then finally, oh meow. I mean, it is quite cute. Not those eyelashes. 29 pounds and 95 pounds is your price for one, uh, one of the skits. 082620 is your item number. Then we have got the pouch bag as well here. And again, you have got options of the fabric. Now, again, our gallery fabric, very, very lovely fabric, soft. Now, uh, if you can see that, you have got the pattern paper, uh, pattern paper, pattern fabric for the outside. So your choice uh, of those ones would be, of course, you have got the one with the harlequin or kind of um, diamond pattern. Then you have got, of course, the one with the fox in here, the animal in there and then you have got that one which is the one that Sarah was using in the demonstration now we are having some issues with the graphics hence why I cannot give you exactly the uh, the, the exact options now I'll quickly give you the item number which is 808792 and, and the options is fun loving bright in the I'm very sweet. The only thing is, I don't know which one is which. To uh, apologize for that, please do refer uh, to the website if you can, because we are having, you know, those technical issues that I was talking about before. We are keep having them. You know what? Sometimes I think the, comp the, the computers have gotten the off days, and today is one of those off days. But remember that we are still on the, uh, you know, the 443 event, which means that you can quote VE4. Uh, 443 as you can see it on the bottom right corner of the screen and then you will get the cheapest of the four L the four um, items that you have got in your basket for free of course there has to be items uh, during this hour now we have got oh we have got a demo line up so let's have a look hello and welcome back again to the Citri Dorset we're gonna do our demonstration now on how to make our makeup bags we're going to make the Oh Meow version, um, which has a lovely, vibrant purple lining inside. I don't know if you can see that. And it has a nice YKK zip and also the two tabs at the side to make it easier to zip up and, and open. Right, let's get started. So I've already put my machine, um, the zipper foot on the machine. So I'm going to grab one of the top layers of fabric and have it facing upwards. I'm going to put my zip facing down and then the lining fabric on top and just sandwich that zip in between the two layers of fabric and then sew that in place. Open it all out and just finger press that down into place. And I'm going to top stitch along the side of the zip, about a quarter of an inch in from the fold of the fabric on the zip. I'm now going to repeat that process on the other side and I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, that's the zip all sewn into place. We're now going to sew the tabs onto the sides. We just need one of the top layers. We'll fold the, the lining away. And pop that under the machine. The tabs that we made before, fold them in half and about a quarter of an inch down from the top stitching on the zip we position and sew the tabs. We do that on both sides in the same place. Just make sure those lining fabrics and everything else is out of the way. You're just sewing 
purely on that one top layer of fabric with the interfacing behind. Okay, now we can sew the bottom of the bag together and the lining of the bag together. So we're going to line up the two main fabric pieces at the bottom and then we're going to sew that about one centimetre in from the edge. We're going to do the same on the lining, but we're going to leave a gap in the middle to turn the bag through. So again, about a centimetre from the edge, but only go in about two and a half inches from each side. Right, now we need to do the side seams of the bag. So we're not going to sew this end of the bag with the, the zipper pull. We're going to sew the other side. So we line up our fabrics at the bottom and then we, we just push that zip towards the lining fabric. And again, we're going to sew that one centimeter in from the side and that will catch the, the tab as well and it will hide the stitching that we've just put in for that into the side lining. Now you are going to be sewing over the zip here and just manipulate and just go slowly over that. We're then going to just reinforce over where the zip is because we're going to cut the zip off. <clears throat> so just about a quarter of an inch away from your initial seam. I'm going to go backwards and forwards over that a couple of times just to hold it all in place nicely. And then we can cut that excess off and be very careful not to cut into the stitching if you've just cut away the excess. Right we're now going to go to the other side of the bag and this the zipper now needs to be open if you were to sew down the side then you'd sew it with the bag shut and it would be ruined so that is really important. Open the zipper right the way through as far as you can go and then line up again on this side and then we'll sew down through that side in exactly the same way as we did the previous one so we can pause there for a moment and I'll show you the next step. Okay so that's the main parts of the bag done. We've done the bottom, we've done the lining bottom, we've done the side seams completely and we've trimmed off both ends of the zips. We now need to box out these corners. So I'll just show you quickly how to do one of those before we move on again. So um, open out those corners and open out the seam along the bottom and along the side seam of the bag and match those two side seams, those two seams up in the centre. Finger press them down and then about one centimetre in from the bottom seam of the bag and just stitch right the way across and just go backwards and forwards over that seam just to reinforce it. 
so you can see that I've just sewn right the way across those seams are matched on the front and back and opened out and then all you do is trim the excess fabric away and that is one corner of the bag done I'm now going to do the other three corners and come back to you right I've boxed out the um, all the corners in exactly the same way as the first one we're now ready to turn the bag inside out or right way out so just pull through gorgeous fabric and push out all the corners and then also where the zip goes. So I'm just going to get my thumb in behind where that zip goes into the corner there and just pop that corner out, making it nice and crisp. Right, so the last thing that we need to do is just sew that seam along the bottom of the lining. So this is the inside of the bag and we just want to do a nice row of stitching really close to the edge all the way along trim off those little threads And then I would give it a really good iron, iron out these corners. And then once you've done that, tuck the lining inside. Push it right up into the corners. Give it a good iron along the zip. Make sure it's all nicely. And then there you have your beautiful makeup bag. And the quality of fabrics as well is fabulous. And remember that it's Art Gallery Fabrics, which is incredibly beautiful, it's soft, and, and the quality is there of the of the vibe of the colors as well. And then the inside with that beautiful, uh, I would say, the, mm, I would say between a, a fuchsia maybe, uh, but it is a beautiful color. Now, if you want to go for that, it of course is a makeup bag. However, the makeup remover, uh, remover pads are fabulous now if you are concerned about the environment if you want to make your help you know just a little step on to make less waste when you groom of your makeup these are fabulous now i as i said i use re reusable ones i did some research when i was gonna go into it and they were very expensive to buy ready made i mean i'm talking really you know so i said no i, I kind of just gonna make my, myself some but i didn't have good materials therefore they are not the right sort of it's not soft enough for my skin now this is what you need if you want to you are getting 10 pre die cut of the uh, fleece the organic fleece and a 10 of course of the toweling which you can see it has got that lobe in there so then it's kind of double sided so you can remove your makeup with one side and then like I would use now to remove the makeup and then the fleece maybe to put maybe uh, and just make sure that you have removed it a second time depends how it then you also get in your organic and uh, your 100% uh, your organic cotton thread which I know that it is included here and finally you are getting an additional uh, both the fleece and the actual um, toweling fabric now also what it is great is that you can have a space here to make an additional nine rounded you have got remember if you want it you have got the pattern here to template to cut the circles but me I would keep those ones I would cut them in half and I would follow the instructions on how to sew them together but instead of doing the circle I would do a half and half and that way it would have got like a washcloth as well now this is what you will look like once you have done them and remember you have got the option to go for the pink the blue or the cream the only not the or the natural color now if you the only difference is that if you go for this one the um, which is the I believe is the cream the cream 
that the cream is bamboo, it's a mix of bamboo and cotton rather than 100% cotton, but you know what, bamboo is also very, very good for the environment. Right, there, so if you want to go for that, 22 pounds and 49 pence, of course, you have got the instructions as well there. Now, if you wanted to go for uh, the um, organic uh, threads, on the we have it for you. Now, I think this is an investment to make. You are getting the three colors, the white, the sky blue, and the pink, 100 meters in it. It's a, um, it, it so you have got the 100% um, organic cotton thread in here. Now, if you if you can see it there, uh, how much is in total the threads? Um, the yeah, so it's, it's so is you are getting a hundred in it, so three hundred in total. Now, eighteen pounds and forty nine pence is the price for them. Three 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 one eight nine is your item number. Now, if you also want to go to for an extra amount, or you know, you just want to make your own uh, pads. Maybe you don't want them round. Maybe you want them square. Whatever. We have got uh, what uh, you have got the options here for you of the fat quarter of the fl uh, the fleece, or uh, with the fat quarter of the toweling element. We are limited stock for natural, which is unfortunate because that's the one I was going to go after the, the show. For uh, because it's really really cool. Remember this one, the fleece is a bamboo and um, cotton. It's a seventy percent bamboo, forty percent, uh, thirty percent cotton. And what you can do is, of course, sew them together, cut them as you the whatever size you want. If you want to create, for instance, a fleece towel for your pet. But you want it organic this will work because it is a fat horse so it is a nice size for a um you know for for actually a towel for for drying your pet uh, right if if you go for the blue or the pink options the fleece is 100 percent cotton and of course they are all organic which means for 9.99 i think it's a fabulous price 432.585 is your item number now we have got also, if you want to remember that the makeup bag and the zipper, uh, the zipper pouch bag, the, uh, of course, uh, Sarah did mention that you will have fabric enough to make more than the two that they are included. So if you wanted to stock up on those essentials like three zippers as well as the three clips in here, so you can see that they are included in this one as well as two reels, of course, of the, um, the Coatsman white thread in here now this one has got an extended delivery as it will be this patch in it for um, the 18th of may and you of course you are getting the eight inch um, the, that one is the zipper is 88 inches if you wanted to know the size of that now this is a really good one i actually think it's a fabulous um, little kit because it's those essentials that you know you're going to use a white zipper those clips as well as that thread for 9.99 makes it really affordable and then we have got uh, our three 14 inch uh, zippers in here you can see now uh, this one also has got an extended delivery so again the eight it will be dispatched from the 18th of may now you are getting a thousand meters please ap apologize because i haven't uh, referred to how much thread it had on the each of these threads uh spools so you are getting a thousand meters of the uh, coats moon thread and, uh, and uh, you can see in there Okay, 9.99 is your price. So uh, of course, and remember this patch day from the 18th of May. And then we have got our fusible interfacing in, in, in bundle. So this is something, and you're getting a meter of each. So you are getting the uh, that one, which is the, uh, the I think this one is the medium one, and then we have got here the high lo I love um, that one. So that one is a little bit. I have got that one at home. And I had had it for years, and I used it for to create a um, computer sleeve, a laptop sleeve, and I use that one on the inside and on the outside, and then that one on the inside. So it's padded inside. So. So that one it, it was using uh, used for the pouch bag as well as the makeup bag. But if you wanted to create the same effect, maybe you have got your own fabric, you can stock up on that. And remember, you are getting uh, one meter of the high loft and uh, one meter of the medium interlining. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. One zero three four zero zero is your item number. And Sarah has got another demo ready. Hello. 
Welcome to the Citri Dorset. So we're going to make the 100% organic makeup remover pads. So these can be made, used time and time and time again, washed, and then when they come to the end of their life, they can be cut up and safely put on a compost heap because everything in the kit is 100% organic. So I've already made some cream ones. These are actually bamboo fleece on the top. The blue and the pink are a cotton fleece on the top and then the backs are 100% bamboo toweling. Right, so I'll show you how to make one to start with. So you get the rounds already cut for you, 10 of each, and then you just position the fleece on top of the toweling, pin from the centre out to the sides just to hold everything in place. My sewing machine is set up with a blanket stitch but an overlock stitch or a zigzag stitch would be perfectly good as well. So this is set to a 5.8mm width and a 3.5 mil length of stitch and that seems to work quite well to give a nice coverage around the edge of the of the rounds I always just start just slightly in from the edge for the first couple of stitches so as it's got something to grasp hold of a bit of fluff and then just work your way around lifting and manoeuvring the fabric as required. I always stop when it's in the fabric slightly, take out the first pin, lift and manoeuvre again. Nice and steady. I'll try and keep my hands out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Right, lift and take the second pin out. So you're just letting the thread overcast over the edge. Just make sure you take it nice and steady. thread out to the sides, it's not in our way. And then you're just going to go over the first few stitches that started on the round and then cut the thread and then trim off the ends of the thread and you get a bit of that just out from edges and I, and I just trim those off and it's a lovely neat edge. And that is perfect as a gift or to use yourself. I've made them in three different colourways because I know that in families you don't want to always share your makeup remover pads. So then you've got the three different colourways so you can differentiate between each one and who owns what. And there we go. Thank you very much. And as somebody who can touch these ones and all at the same time can uh, use, um, well, I'm using, I have been using it for a couple of, of a couple of months, uh, reusable pads to remove my makeup, can tell you that it feels so much better to have something that is not environmentally costly, and and also it means that something that is easy, you get into the habit really quickly. But also it is the softness of this material, the fact that it's organic, the f even the thread that you are getting is organic, and of course you have got the template as well there, 22 pounds and. 
49 pence, enough to make 10 of them, plus the extra to make an additional nine or keep them as the size. 315-347 is your item number. Now, we, need to, we have been extremely busy for this bundle and I'm so pleased. Now, the natural has sold out. Oh, I do like you. And the pink is not limited to stock. Now, what you are getting is a fat quartz and I'm not going to open because it's a big fat quartz and as you know, um, because it's the half of the, the width, so sometimes it is a smaller, but this one is a big one, and it is a notch, uh, remember it's 100% um, organic, 100% cotton, as well as the toweling, so do check out your baskets, 9.99 for amazing quality fabric. Thank you so much for joining me, and after the break, more. I think, happy. <laughs>